Hi, welcome to the newest episode of Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about satellite TV in your RV. Now, uh, I know there are some naysayers out there who would say, why do you need satellite? You're going camping. Uh, but obviously, we, we enjoy having it. I'm sure some other people would as well. Uh, this turned out to be a very cost-effective solution for us, so I want to describe to you everything that we're doing. Here we are up on the roof of my trailer. This is a King Tailgater, which is a fully automatic satellite dome dish for dish network only. Now I opted to not permanently mount the satellite dish on my RV because I wanted the freedom to be able to move it uh, so that I, way it has a clear view of the satellites if I'm parked in such a position that I really don't have a clear view from the roof of the trailer. So instead I just set the unit up here. You can see the coaxial cable going down over the side. Let's go downstairs and take a look. So here the coaxial runs down the side of the trailer, just hanging there, and plugs into the cable input on the side of my RV. Now I don't actually have a separate satellite input, I only have a cable input, so I had to do a little monkeying around inside. Let me show you what we had to do there. Now a wall plate like this should look familiar to some people. This is where the, uh, the antenna and the cable both come in to connect to the television. It also has that little switch on it, uh, which powers the antenna. Uh, because of that switch, you don't have what they call a clean run from the satellite dish right to the television, which you need for satellite. So what I've done is I've actually taken the uh, satellite, excuse me, the cable line from the back of that connection and bypassed it, put in a second barrel connector, drilled a hole in the wall plate, put in a second barrel connector, so that way I can bypass that switch when I'm using satellite. Now what I've done is I've actually mounted the Wally hidden on the wall behind the television. The Wally is Dish Network's uh, satellite receiver. The remote control on the Wally is not infrared, it's not IR, it's RF, which is radio frequency, which means it does not need line of sight. So that works very well right behind the television. So that's a complete walkthrough of our satellite television setup. Uh, all told, it barely cost me north of $300. Managed to get the King Tailgater on a refurbished model out of uh, uh, an RV supplier in Texas over the internet uh, for about $249. Uh, the Wally was, I think, another $80, if I remember correctly. Now, the nice thing about Dish Network is you can actually get HD channels with an automatic dome antenna. You don't have to use a parabolic antenna. Uh, the uh, Traveler parabolic uh, is fully automated but it's very very expensive uh, the fully automatic antenna allows you to just point the antenna in the general direction of south where it has a clear view of the southern sky power it up wait 15 minutes and it automatically finds all the satellites for you you don't have to sit there playing with a compass and an azimuth angle and all that stuff to try and find the satellites it's all completely automated with little motors inside that dome that move the dish into the correct position now, if you already have Dish Network in your home, it's only gonna cost the $7 per month extra receiver fee to add satellite to your RV. And for $7, who wants to monkey around with disconnecting their, their DVR or their satellite receiver in the house and move it back and forth between the RV and the house? For $7, just buy an extra receiver and leave it in there. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been educational for you if you're looking to put satellite television in your RV. As always, uh, please subscribe so you catch every episode of Grand Adventure. You can do so right here on the screen or down below. Also down below in the video description, I'll put links to all of the stuff that we've talked about in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'd love to hear from you and love the opportunity to reply. Uh, as always, remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. See you soon.